वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री टू लैबोरेटरी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ सिस्टेमिक क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर मिसेस उर्मिला रविंद्र गवड़ी एम्फाम इन क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस टूडेज एक्सपेरिमेंट इज एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टेन टाइटल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई द गिवन ऑर्गेनिक ड्रग और कंपाउंड डी सेवन बाय सिस्टेमिक क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस learning objective after watching this video student will able to learn intellectual skill that means to understand the concept of the experiment to understand the test procedure to analyze and interpret the observation and to plan the experiment motor skills ability to write systemic analytical report ability to handle equipment take and record observation ability to refer standard literature and indian pharmacopoeia ability to work according to plan of the experiment and ability of group working concept of the experiment proposition first preliminary test these are the preliminary test carried out to get some idea or clue about the compound no definite conclusion can be drawn from this test proposition 2 physical constant it is characteristic distinguish physical identity of the organic compound that means we have to perform here melting point determination and boiling point determination proposition 3 elemental analysis it is found that out of all the element present in organic compound by some color and precipitation reaction proposition 4 group analysis it is found find out different functional group present in the organic compound functional group is the group of element present in the compound proposition 5 literature for the reference it is a reference table in which compound are classified according to elements groups and physical constant proposition 6 confirmative test these are specific color reaction or preparation of the simple derivative and determining its melting point as well as boiling point with identification of the organic drugs general concept structure first of all we have to perform preliminary test that means it involve its color odor test and solubility then physical constant determination of melting point or boiling point group analysis function elemental analysis result with reference to literature then confirmative test and after confirmation we got the idea about identification of the drug apparatus required glassware test tube beaker measuring cylinder graduated pipette evaporating dish water bath thales tube and thermometer and chemicals all general and table reagents for the actual step wise procedure we have to move towards laboratory in our pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory today we are going to deal with systemic qualitative analysis let's start with our new organic compound this is our organic compound the color of organic compound is reddish brown it is a reddish brown colored compound and it has amine like odor that means azo group methyl orange beta naphthol amino compound amino like benzyl group may be present in this compound solubility test first check the solubility in water so that for that we have to require few ml of our liquid organic compound then add water and check the solubility whether the compound is soluble or not check vigorously the given organic compound is moderately soluble in the water so that hydroxy acid aliphatic and ketone group may be present in these it solubility in 10% sodium bicarbonate solution take few drop of given organic compound and add sodium bicarbonate solution and check the solubility very slightly soluble in sodium bicarbonate solution now check solubility in two normal nh for that we have to take few drops of 
sample then add to normal NaOH solution. We seen that the two portion are separated that means the given organic compound does not soluble in two normal NaOH solution. Have to check the action of reagent on given organic compound. For that we have to take sample only two to three drops are required then add two ml of water two ml of water and two ml of ten percent NaOH solution sodium hydroxide solution and then shake it properly okay from this solution uh, aniline gas is evolved smell of aniline that means the given organic compound contains amylide, carbonide and ester group. Now next test action of esterosopor on the given organic compound. Take 2 to 3 ml of sample and add concentrated esterosopor. 1 ml of concentrated esterosopor. When the precipitate become turn black with the effervescence of CO2 with the smell of burning sugar, the sample given organic sample is burned with the concentrated H2SO4. That means the given organic compound may be carbohydrate, aliphatic hydrochloride, or tartaric acid, lactic acid. Now check the action of reagent that is sodium by sodium carbonate in given organic liquid. For that we have to take 10 ml of sodium bicarbonate which is freshly prepared. Now add 4 drops of liquid. Shake it properly. Effervescence of CO2 evolved. Now next is action of chemical solution. For that we have to take liquid, four drop of liquid sample. Then add 10 ml of freshly prepared chemical uh, sodium carbonate. Caminopore solution drop by drop. Shift it properly. The pink color of chemonopore solution will disappear and it becomes brownish color. That means the given organic compound is unsaturated. Heating test, heating on oxidized compound. For that we have to take one drop of sample in wire hose and heat it. So the flame evolved. That means the given organic compound is 
aromatic in nature. Now, now get on glass rod. On heating, it gives to the flame. That means the given organic compound is aromatic in nature. Now, determination of physical constant. As we know, our compound is uh, liquid. Therefore, we have to perform boiling point. And the boiling point of given compound is uh, 51 degrees Celsius. Celsius. Now, let's start with element detection. Procedure for this. Dry small piece of Hmm. Take a small piece of sodium metal into the boiler tube, sodium fusion tube, heat it and then uh, add powder and again heat and add it into porcelain containing 10 to 15 uh, ml of water. We already uh, done that procedure and uh, kept it on heating for 10 to 15 minutes so that the sodium fusion extract get ready for the detection of element like Nitrogen, Sulfur and Halogen After boiling the mixture for 10 minutes We already filtered that solution and this filtrate is known as Sodium Fusion Extract Filter And this filter is used, Sodium Fusion Extract is used for detection of Nitrogen, Sulfur and Halogen Let, Let's start with actual procedure for determining the element Let's start with test for Nitrogen Take 3 to 4 ml of sodium fusion extract. Then add it. Ferrous sulfate. Approximately 0 0.2 gram of ferrous sulfate. Crystals. Ten percent sodium hydroxide have to add into the solution. Zero point one. And then boil this solution gently. After boiling, we have to add it into dilute acid, dilute sulfuric acid solution. After boiling, we have to add dilute sulfuric acid solution into it. No persist blue color is developed. That means the solution does not contain, the sample does not contain nitrogen. Test for sulfur. So, ni sodium nitroposide test. Take 2 ml of sodium fusion extract. Then add 1 to 2 drops of freshly prepared sodium nitroposide. Check vigorously and observe, observe the result. It does not show purple or deep red color. That means sulfur is absent in the given compound. <laughs> now procedure for determination of taste of halogen. We have to check halogen whether present in the compound or not. For that take 2 ml of sample then add HNO3. That is nitric acid, dilute nitric acid for uh, it, uh, the solution becomes acidic.
After addition of nitric acid, solution become acidic. Then add silver nitrate solution. Only one to two drops we have to add into this solution. CD test. CD test for given organic sample. For that we have to take our sample. And add it into it perichlorate solution. That means uh, this test is perichlorate test. After addition of ferric chloride, we got pinkish red color. That means phenol is present in given compound. Now we have to perform CT test, confirmative test for phenol. For confirmation, we have to perform Lieberman's nitro test. For that, take sample and add reagent. After performing the test, we got red color. That means liber. Lieberman's nitro test gives red color that means given sample is phenol. Result on the basis of the test performed above with reference of handbook the given organic compound is aromatic in nature, unsaturated, acidic and phenolic. The boiling point of the given organic compound was found to be 51 degrees Celsius. The given organic compound found to contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen element. The given organic compound found to contain phenol as a functional group. Conclusion The given organic compound was having 51 degree Celsius boiling point, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen element and phenol as a functional group. Therefore, with reference to literature, the organic compound may be phenol. This is the structure of phenol and it is disinfectant. Thank you dear student for attending the practical session.